Carbon microphone invented by Hughes in 1870s, early as in 1910s, stopped meeting quality requirements for musical signal transmission because of narrow frequency band and carbon particle self noise. Though Bell's electromagnetic microphone did not boast the best frequency band or absence of self noise, it still required very strong signal amplification. Therefore, a condenser microphone created by Edward Christopher Wente in 1914 became the first truly musical microphone. At that time, Western Union Company was interested in two applications of high-quality microphones for radio broadcast and for music recording. By early 1920s, Maxwell Company developed a device for electrical sound recording that included a Wente's microphone sensitive enough to record the entire orchestra, not only the musicians nearest to it. Structurally, this microphone consisted of a massive casing with two electrodes isolated from one another, a heavy one firmly connected to the casing and a lighter one in the form of a dynamic membrane. Screws allowed to fix the membrane firmly in the casing. When the sound hits the membrane, it changes capacity between the moving and the fixed electrodes. As a result, voltage appearing on the resistance is amplified by the lamp and sent to microphone output. The possibility to manufacture big-sized microphones enabled expanding the recording range to 10 and later to 15 kHz for the first time in history. And it is believed, not without reason, that all of the modern acoustics started with the invention of Wendy's condenser microphone.